Closed captioning for great tastes is presented by Manitoba Beef Producers. Proud of our practices, proud of our people, proud of our product. Manitoba Liquor Mart presents Great Tastes of Manitoba. Great Tastes is brought to you by GreatTastesMB.ca. Local farms, local foods. Great Tastes is sponsored by the Government of Canada and Manitoba Agriculture through the Canadian Agricultural Partnership. Hey, welcome to Great Tastes of Manitoba. My name is Des Daniels, your host, and tonight we are feeding a crowd dressed to impress with Manitoba beef producers. We are here with Elizabeth Harms. We've got some recipes ready to go here. We'll walk through them in just a second. And of course, Aaron Alblas, Manitoba Liquor Marts with Beverage Pairings. Uh, so yes, we are feeding a crowd, yes, we are. but we're dressing to impress. Yes. So we've got three amazing recipes yes. uh, that are going to be quite lovely, but also very economical. Yes. So walk us through what we'll be making tonight. Yeah, so we're going to start with a short rib recipe with some Asian flavors. Uh, then we'll move on to a blade roast where we braise it in some peanut butter. A little bit of an interesting flavor Super profile. Super interesting flavors, yeah. Uh, and then we'll end off with a Peking pot roast. Okay. So I'll leave you on the hook for that one. All right, I'm, on the, I'm hooked. <laughs> Good. What about you? What are you thinking? We're going to talk wine. I, I think wine uh, makes a lot of sense with the dishes that you just spoke about, and I'll tell you why. Uh, and we're also going to talk about wine vocabulary. You know, seeing that this is the last episode, what happens next for all our viewers? So when you go and you're buying wine, I'll explain a little bit of terminology that perhaps will help you dial in exactly what you're looking for. We're about to be schooled. All right, thanks, all right. Aaron. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, so number one, bulgogi-style braised beef. Yes. First of all, did I say that correctly? I believe so. Okay, good. Okay. And uh, so we and we've done a lot of braising on the show yeah. in the past. There's all kinds of recipes that you can find online. So tell us a little bit about because this is kind of again, it's um, it's uh, like very impressive. Yeah. But it's it's not overly difficult and it's no. also super economical yeah. because of the cuts that we're using yeah, we're here as all well. three recipes today we're using cuts of meat that are going to keep your cost per serving down beef is of uh, it's a it's a showstopper we want to celebrate it and these are some great recipes where you're going to be economical about it um, and it's going to look fantastic at the end and it's going to smell great in the process right and yeah. so as, as your guests are arriving assuming yeah. that you're having people over they'll be like wow elizabeth what did you do wow whoever yeah. what did you do okay what are we going to do okay so uh i've got some short ribs here that's our first cut of meat um they're short they're only about this high and they come from the they're cut off the rib of the Animal. If I remember correctly, it's a little bit of a, is it tougher? Like, yes, yeah. So yeah. this is why we have to make sure there's lots of exactly. liquid involved, right? Exactly. And when we're talking about cost per serving, yeah. do you, can you tell, share with us what that so, is? So um, you want to take however much you're spending on all of the meat, look at how many servings the recipe you're using is going to provide you. Right. Um, and then do a little bit of... A little mm, bit of quick math. A little bit of quick math. So this is going to be about $4 a serving. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. So we've kind of got this going with yes. browning, and browning, of course, essential to the braising process. Yep, that so we've gives got us that, that original flavor. So I'm just going to turn these over. Whoa! Whoa. And then they're going to get that great sound. It's all very exciting around here. Yeah. Okay. So once we've got these a little more browned, mm -hmm. I'm going to add these guys to the pan. Yeah, because we kind of got those already started. Yeah. yeah. Then just maneuver them around. They're going to reduce quite a bit in the cooking process. Oh, are they? They're going to yes. get quite a bit smaller? Yes. Yeah. Uh, the great thing about braising is that it, it comes out super tender and it just kind of falls off the yes. bone. Yes. I can't yeah. wait because we do, we are going to reveal something yes. that we've worked on yeah. a little bit earlier. And uh, yes, this is what this is what I've been told. Yeah. Okay, so now we also have our, this is our braising yep. liquid here, yeah. right? Yeah, braising requires that liquid. Um, so I've got in this bowl water soy sauce and some brown sugar okay. and that brown sugar is really gonna it's not gonna add a whole lot of sweetness but it's gonna add a, a lovely color to it okay great uh, and to add more flavor we've got whole garlic cloves mm -hmm. uh, minced ginger and then some green onion so we're just gonna and that add just that in. all just we're gonna put that in yep. with the with the short ribs yep okay and it's gonna simmer away and yep. continue to make that that lovely Aroma that we were yeah. talking, it smells amazing in here. Okay, so I'm going to add this really carefully. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so what happens now? How long does this 
sandwiches go in the oven or is so the this particular recipe we're gonna transfer to the oven got very quiet in here all of a sudden <laughs> <laughs> it was like deafening <laughs> yeah so uh a relatively low temperature 325 okay um and it's gonna cook for about two two and a half hours um if it cooks a bit longer that is no problem there's so much liquid in there that you won't run the risk of anything drying out i was gonna say you can't really overcook it no. but i guess you know if it was like a super long time but <laughs> <laughs> couple of hours you're not going to be yeah, no. in any kind of trouble. Okay. All right. So, so do we have uh, yes, we the do. finished product here? Because, uh, yeah, this is um, this is a, a beautiful looking dish, as we mentioned. Um, and, uh, you know, super, super tender. I'm looking forward to testing this, this theory out. So let us have a look at what we've got here, if you want to just. All right. Oh, wow. Yeah. Right yes. All right. Beautiful. Yeah. So I'm just, I'm, what I'm curious about is that you're going to, because you're going to kind of show us how. Yeah, here, yeah. let's. Are you just going to give me my stir. very own? Yeah, and I'll give you your very own, very own. piece of meat. Okie doke. There you I go. If I can, you know, mow through this in the last little bit yeah. of the time we have left. You but play with it a little bit yeah. and you can see how tender it is. Oh, totally. And totally. after the cooking process, you, they, it literally just falls off the bone. Yeah. I'm actually going to have a little, I'm going to have to have a little go at this while you're, because so we have the sauce we have to yes. make yet as well, right? So, so why don't you get started on that? I'm going to taste you talk. Go for okay. it. All right. So after you're done with the cooking process, you can transfer all of the meat to a different plate and then make sure you strain that sauce a little bit, put it back in the pot, and add a little bit of cornstarch with water and just whisk until it thickens and you get this beautiful sauce with all of that flavor. Those whole garlic cloves before are going to just melt and blend in there. It's going to be great. That's good. That's transcendently <laughs> good. And sorry, what was in here again one more time? Um, all of the braising liquid, so that garlic, okay. that ginger, those green onions. Okay. Um, reduce that down, pour over, add some green onion, you're good to go. And your guests will be like, oh, and then you'll, yeah. they'll eat it and they'll be like, oh. okay, great. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, bulgogi style braised beef. And when we come back, beef, carry, carry. We're going to do yeah. another show stopping recipe here, dressed to impress tonight with Manitoba beef producers. When we come back, Great Tastes of Manitoba. You're watching Great Tastes of Manitoba. Brought to you in part by GreatTastesMB.ca. Local farms, local foods.